forcibly removed today. Moments ago, bailiffs made their way inside of this home. Tara Brown is fighting the eviction and is vowing not to leave. But Cass Community Services, Cass Community Social Services says that Brown violated the conditions of the tiny house program and has to go. Victor Williams is there on the scene. And Victor, I can see there's a flurry of activity behind you right now. Oh yeah, guys, things have been very intense this morning. These tires were supposed to be used as barriers in a sense to keep the court officers from going in with all of the people that were in front of this home as well, but they were unsuccessful. Take a look at what played out earlier as protesters went head to head with court officers trying to prevent them from making it inside to evict Tara Brown, who is suffering from stage five kidney failure. Over a dozen officers from DPD were here as well, but they were staying back only intervening when things got too physical. Now, all of these tiny homes in the area of Monterey Street are owned by Cass Community Social Services, better known as CCSS. Now, Brown claims that she hasn't missed any payments and believes that she's only being evicted because she's been very critical of Reverend Fowler and CCSS. But multiple organizations have joined the fight to stop this eviction, including Detroit Eviction Defense standing in front of every entrance. Here from Christian Taylor, who was right on the front lines. That's what it takes. I mean, I don't know any moment in history uh, where justice prevails, where people don't have to put their bodies on the line to be frank. Um, and, you know, we are the people who don't mind to just hang around and chill and have a barbecue. Uh, we're not the ones who are initiating uh, the conflict, uh, but we are here to stand strong, uh, defend Tara and this house and ourselves. Now, once again, Mrs. Brown is being evicted. We have seen a lot of her belongings brought out of this home, a lot of them thrown away. Uh, but we have not heard anything back from Reverend Fowler, so we're hoping to hear back from her soon. We did end up speaking to Tara just a few minutes ago, and we'll have what she had to say at 5 p.m. Victor Williams, Local 4.